Ooh, Space Invaders, gonna eat ya. <laughs> if you guys are relying on the mainstream media to get your information about this stuff going on outside of the human condition, okay, you're not gonna get a fair shake. You're not getting a fair shake. I remember telling you guys about Warner Von Braun, okay, the father of our space program, the Nazi scientist who said that we're going to undergo a uh, conditioning process in the way of first we're going to see a communist threat, then we're going to see international terrorist threat, okay, and then we're going to see a space alien invaders, all right, and that last one is just going to be a lie. A matter of fact, a lot of these guys, whether we're talking about communism and uh, international terrorism, there's nefarious underpinnings under there that suggest that these aren't wholly organic, all right? And I think the same thing is going to be said for this space invader scenario. I think it's funny now that we start to see the mainstream media covering it in a light where they're not ridiculing anymore. It used to be you couldn't mention UFOs or anything like that, aliens, extraterrestrials, without having a snicker in the same breath, right? And the media was the first one to ridicule you. Invariably, you couldn't even go on a talk show without... Uh, and mention this without somebody calling in and saying, get this idiot off here, all right? And now the conditioning process is going in the other way, so we're getting ready for something. CNN just reported on how senators have received classified briefing on UFOs. Fox News had been reporting or interviewing Navy pilots, okay? Uh, different conglomerates of news agencies had talked about how the Navy and other branches of, you know, the U.S. government uh, forces are changing how they report on UFOs as well. So this isn't just something that's going on in the public sphere, you know, these sheep out here. It's also happening within factions of the military and, and branches of government. So again, this conditioning process is going the other way where it's not just affecting the commoners, it's also affecting those in military programs. And these are the folks, that, you know, these people who know these things and it's their job to know these things. They've long had seminars and talks and they would talk about some of the stuff but people would just write it off okay so this stuff has been long in the tooth but now we're starting to get it filtered through a mainstream media government narrative and that lens is just completely fogged up and it's going to be skewed and again you're not going to get a fair shake if you're looking for information about this this stuff going on outside the human condition and can we just say we understand that UFOs simply mean unidentified flying object, all right? It's become an umbrella term. We're talking about stuff going on outside of the human condition, which is what text, tablets, arch architecture, going back from time immemorial suggests, all right? People think, oh, it's just mythology. They can only see things from one context, all right? They've got, they got small minds in that sense. So those folks who kind of ballyhoo the hell out of this stuff anyway, oh, this stuff isn't targeted for them. This stuff is targeted for people who have their minds, eyes, and ears open, and who are trying to look for something beyond just a tiny modicum of truth, all right? They're trying to really trying to understand sort of what's going on so they're not throwing out certain subjects haphazardly okay because if you do that especially this one here you're not going to get a clear picture of what's going on and these are points to reiterate you, you'll always hear me saying this okay because whether we're talking about ufos government cover-up secret societies conspiracies banking malfeasance it doesn't matter all this stuff has one to do with the other and it overlaps in some way and i think we need to recognize that okay i think we need to look deeper into the pro the official narratives and the pronouncements of the government Government, we have to look beyond that because we're, we're not going to get a clear picture of what's going on if we just rely on them. All right. I think it's very interesting how they've shifted. They've shifted gears here. And again, when you hear a media mantra, get ready to be conditioned for something because that's part of the process. And we're being conditioned in the other way now.